Hello, sports fans and football fans and fans of the XFL, few that you may be at this moment. Let me make myself a little bigger here. There we go. I am Sportsman Z, as you know very well, and I am here with my XFL picks because I do my XFL picks every week. Did them last week, and guess what? For the second consecutive week, I was 4-0. So, really, what that makes me on the year, are you ready for this? I'm 14-2. and two. There have been 16 games played this year in the XFL, and I've gotten 14 correct and two wrong. That is, uh, that's some kind of a record. So, let's, uh, let's recap what happened last week, shall we? Um, the first game... Uh, the f first of two games that were on a Saturday, March 11th, were the Roughnecks against the Guardians. And the Roughnecks, not surprisingly, won this game going away, 44-16. And the second game in Seattle on the West Coast, so it was a late game, you could be, uh, you could be excused if you didn't stay up for this one. The uh, Sea Dragons beat the Brahmas 15-6. So uh, the the Brahmas go to one and three. The Sea Dragons are two and two on the year. And with that Roughnecks game result, the Roughnecks stay undefeated at four and zero, oh, and the Guardians go to zero oh and four, perfectly defeated. So you go to Sunday, March twelfth, and the games of March twelfth, and the Battle Hawks beat the Renegades twenty four to eleven. That makes the Battle Hawks 3 and 1 on the year and the Renegades drop the 2 and 2. And then my defenders, the DC defenders beat the Vipers 32 to 18. That again was a game that I called. I called it correctly. And uh, yeah, 32 to 18. So um with that, let's take a look at the Week 5 matchups, and I'll give you who I'm going to pick in each one of those games, and then we'll see. The, now, the first game is a Thursday game. They're doing a Thursday game this week on the 16th, and that's going to be the Roughnecks at the Sea Dragons, and in this one, I'm going to take the undefeated Roughnecks. I'm going with the undefeated Roughnecks, man. I mean, the Sea Dragons, I think, are a pretty good team, but I don't know that they're Good enough to beat this juggernaut of a roughneck team. So uh, next, the next two games are going to be on Saturday, the uh, 18th of March, and that's going to be my defenders taking on the Battle Hawks. And uh, in that game, I'm going to go. You know, this is a close one because the Battle Hawks they're three and one. The defenders are four and zero, oh, but I think the defenders already beat the Battle Hawks once. But you know what? No, I'm going to keep riding the Defender Train. I'm going to keep riding the Defender Train. They're my favorite team, and they are undefeated. And I am going to keep riding them until they lose, and they show me that they've got some chinks in the armor. So we're going with the Defenders in Seattle taking on the Battle Hawks. Now, the next one you got is the Guardians, who are 0-4, going up against the Vipers, who are 0-4. Now, this is a tough one to call. And uh, I'm going to go with the Vipers on this, only because the Vipers are at home and they're probably a little better team. The Guardians have just not shown anything. And then you've got the last game of the week, and, and that's going to be the Sunday, March 19th game. And that's going to be the Renegades at the Brahmas. And uh, I'm, you know what? The Renegades are 2-2, two and two, the Brahmas are 1-3, but I'm going with the Brahmas here. They're at home. Um, they've had some close games, some real close losses. I don't think the Renegades are all that good. I mean, they're two and two, but they're they're lucky to be two and two. At the at at best, they should be one and one and three probably. So uh, we're going to take the Brahmas in that. So just to recap, you've got um, for my picks, you've got the Roughnecks over the Sea Dragons. You got the Defenders over the Battle Hawks. You got the Vipers beating the Guardians at home, and you've got um, the uh, Brahmas over the Renegades. 
So let's see if I can keep that uh, undefeated streak from the last two weeks going. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be my picks. What do you guys think? Um, how are you liking the XFL so far? It used to be that the games were really close, but now they've kind of, there's been some blowouts and teams are really starting to separate themselves. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up on the video because I always like that. And uh, that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.